So this seems like an odd place to start a video on a model build. You're right. <laughs> Don't go away. Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we are actually starting a model build here. And I know it doesn't look like we're starting, it looks like we're finishing it, but uh, this is the infamous El Gato submarine that I have told you so much about that I pretty much ruined. Um, fortunately, I wasn't stupid enough to throw it away. I kept it. And, and now I'm going to try to fix it. So what I'm doing here is, uh, oh, oh, let me take you back. This had a bunch of photo etch on it and I didn't do it right. And I got super glue on everything and it's a real mess. That, I mean, it looks like crap. And uh, it was so bad that I really thought I had killed the model. I was just very disappointed. But then I came up with a plan where I ripped off all the old photo etch and bought a whole new set. So I can sand all of this and cover it with brand new photo etch and you should never know the difference. The problem I was still having was here along the wooden deck. But now Ravel makes a wooden deck for this kit. So I wrote to them and they sent me one. And so I have everything I think I need to be able to save my Gatto submarine. So today is day one of saving the Gatto. And as a special prize, I plan to make this into the, uh, the Stingray, the USS Stingray from Down Periscope. Great, great comedic submarine movie. Uh, I might watch that today. But anyhow, so uh, to start, what I need to do is I need to sand all of these areas flat, trying to leave all these little detail parts so that uh, I can put new photo etch on here and it'll sit down nicely and look good. Um, and if that is successful, I should be able to finish this model up and make it look pretty cool. So that's my plan, let's get to work. Cat like. So while I'm doing the sanding, let's cover a, a few things, okay? First of all, really, uh, all that's together here is just the whole section, and it's just a few pieces. Um, the, the lion's share of this kit comes in the conning tower. Uh, the other thing I want to cover is that this is going to be a video that really shows you just totally how not to build a model, any model at all, whatsoever, because... I do so many things wrong with this build. I can't even begin to tell you. And I'm, I'm fortunate that I'm actually going to get a pretty decent display piece out of this. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to point out all the mistakes. And that's one of the great things about this video. Is you're, you'll probably learn more watching this video than you'll, you'll learn from any other video. Because you're going to see all the mistakes I make. And I'll, I'll be honest about them and tell you about them. So I already told you I screwed up the uh, the original Edward Big Ed photo etch kit that I put on this submarine. And what happened was, uh, first of all, I was using a thin CA glue to put it on, and that ran all over the place. And then I was using tape to kind of hold it in place as I was gluing it down, and the CA ran into the tape and glued the tape to the model, and it just was an absolute nightmarish mess, okay? The tape was stuck on, the diamond plate was stuck on, the CA had filled all sorts of details. Um, it, I, I really thought it was going to make its way into the rubbish bin, and I'm glad I didn't, because uh, uh, after you know ripping off all the old photo etch, and uh, getting the new stuff, I was able to sand away all the, the bad spots. And they're all going to be covered up with new photo etch and the wooden deck kit. So I'm dodging a bullet. But let me tell you this. If I had it all do, oh, to do over again, uh, I would not build this kit with the photo etch. 
Okay, I just wouldn't. I would have built it straight out of the box. I would have gotten a nice model out of it and not had half the expense or aggravation uh, that, that I've had here. Because even the second time around, this photo etch is really difficult to work with. Um, there's all sorts of little holes in it. So no matter where you hold it when you're gluing it down, uh, CA is coming up through the little holes and you're getting stuck to it. Uh, bending the top edge around the rounded edge of the submarine is really, really difficult to do. Um, it, it, it was just a nightmare, even the second time around. Um, it, it's crinkly after you get it down. There's going to be like little dents and bumps and stuff in it, which really isn't a big deal because if you've ever seen a real warship, they're all kind of wavy and rumply looking. So uh, it, it's kind of realistic, but in a model, it's probably not what you really want. Um, bottom line, I would not do the photo etch again. Okay, I had no choice the second time around because it's the only way to make this kit and make it look decent. Um, so I was, it forced my hand, but uh, I, I wish I could go back in time to the day I got the kit and just never, ever even thought about doing photo etch here. So anyhow, um, I'm just going to cut out the sheets of photo etch and uh, using a gel <laughs> super glue, I'm going to uh, apply them to the side of the gato, and then I'll work at gluing the rounded edge down. Um, it, it's not easy. I, I hated every second of it. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I had no choice. So once I get all the sides on, uh, we can go ahead and glue the top deck plates on uh, and let all that dry. Okay, so with the photo etch all on, I'll put it aside and let that dry. And now I'm going to get out this small box where I put all the parts when I decided to save the model. And I'm going to get the instructions out and re-review them because I haven't seen them in years. Um, th this build may actually break some sort of record for the longest model build in history. Uh, it, it has to be near on four years from start to finish, something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to review the instructions as if it was the first time opening the box. And uh, I, I'm at the part where I'm going to build the conning tower. The hull is done and just, you know, uh, now all the real building comes in. Okay, because the, the hull is just, you slap a couple giant pieces together and put it aside. Now, all the problems that I had... Um, they weren't 100% mine. It was something like 90-10, okay? 90% me doing stupid things and 10% the... You know, 5% the photo etch and 5% the kit. Uh, for example, the sprues are not designated in any way, shape, or form. I, I could not find, like... You know, a lot of model kits will, will say this is sprue A, this is B, this is C, and stuff. I couldn't find anything like that. So it was a real hunt and peck situation to find the parts that you needed and it just took forever to find the right things you know so uh strike there i had some deformed railings um you know there, there was a lot of problems now uh, now in fairness the railings could have been damaged over the years uh as i was moving stuff around or what, what have you uh, i don't know but um the the simple fact of the matter is that the Sprues were not identified very well, and, and that was a, a big negative. So anyhow, what I'm doing is I'm going to start work on the conning tower. I'm going to get all the pieces out. I'll remove them from the sprues with my sharp side cutters. Uh, I'm going to review every piece. I'm going to clean up any excess flash or bits of the sprue, and then I'll do test fits and start gluing. Of course, I'm going to be using my Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, and occasionally my Tamiya Quick Setting Extra Thin Cement here. That's going to be the lion's share. There will be uh, more use of cyanoacrylates uh, other than the photo etch. But for the most part, this build will be done top to bottom using Tamiya Extra Thins.
Now, there was a really actually pretty neat feature to this kit. Um, it came with pre-bent wire rungs for, for ladders to, to climb the conning tower. And what you had to do is you had to take a little pin vise and drill out the holes where these wire rungs would attach. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to drill out all the holes. And then they did a whole little ingenious, ingenious thing. On one of the sprues, they, they included a little flat template and you put it down against the the side of the part, and then the rung would go over it and through the holes. And this would space all the rungs out perfectly. And so you just drop them over the little spacer into the holes. And once you got them all on, then you would take a stick or something like that and hold it flat against it. That would lock everything in. Then you'd turn it over and put little dabs of CA on the backside to lock the rungs in. Uh, it was an ingenious way to put these rungs onto the conning tower and uh, really get them aligned perfectly. Very clever of them. And it was kind of neat that they even included the little, little stick. So uh, once you get everything done, like I said, a little CA locks them in and you can move on. Okay, so thus far I haven't made any new mistakes, okay? <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm still recovering from the mistakes with the photo etch on the hull and stuff, but so far I haven't done anything wrong uh, yet, but trust me, we're fixing to make some, some monumental cock-ups here. You know, honestly, um, I, I, I feel fortunate that at the end of the day I got a model that I, I'm, I'm okay with. I certainly wouldn't enter in any contest, but, you know, I got past all of my stupidity and, and got something decent. But, man, I don't know what was going on. Maybe it was just how bad this kit was um, from the early screw-up, and maybe I just wasn't that into it. I, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong. But, uh, anyhow, enough of that. All right, so we'll finish getting these rungs on, and then we'll move on. Okay, so right here I'm going to start making another mistake. And uh, on the conning tower, I'm putting a lot of the details onto the tower that I shouldn't. Okay, right here I should have stopped and uh, got this part, got the wooden deck attached to it, got this paint piece primed and painted and stuff. And then I could have painted all the sub-assemblies and attached them to the conning tower. I didn't do that, so later on I'm going to have to go back and put the wooden deck on these two uh, parts of the tower, and that's going to cause a problem. Uh, I've got all these parts to work around. It made it tougher for me to uh, do detailing and, and things like that. So, yeah, um, really get the basic tower assembled and then stop, get it painted, and get the deck on, okay? Okay. That's what you want to do. Get that, get it assembled, get it painted, get the deck on, get it painted, and and then you can go back and add all the little uh, greebles and bits and foibles and pieces and stuff like that. So this was this actually ended up being a pretty big mistake here, and it's it's going to cause me fits in trying to uh, paint all of this later. There's just too many little tiny delicate pieces. Uh, to work around a uh, huge, huge error here. Now you see I, I have uh, this bent piece of railing and I'm going to have to deal with that. And I, I don't know. It's, it's unfair for me to blame that on Ravel. 
and I'm sure if I'd asked him, they would have sent me a new piece. Um, it could have been damaged, like I said, moving it around from box to box and putting it in different places and stuff. But it is what it is. All I can do is is kind of bend it in shape. If it breaks, I'll, I'll fix it. But so uh, that was another issue that I had to deal with the railings. Uh, I had one piece of railing that just was gone. and I don't know where it went. I don't know if I, I lost it or something. Uh, it was a pretty minor piece, and unless you know Gato submarines uh, really well, you'll nobody will ever notice that it's not there because it's down. It's going to be down by the uh, barrel end of one of the guns on the conning tower. So I I didn't sweat the fact that it wasn't there. The bigger problem was the bent up, mangled railing. So anyhow, I've got the tower uh, kind of assembled. I'm going to sand out some surfaces and, and do a little bit of filling and prep work and stuff like that uh, before we move on. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along fine. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, it's gonna uh, some of the stuff that I've put on already, it was a mistake. And see here, I, I've got the, uh, the whole tower. I don't, I don't know what you would call this. Uh, all the instrumentation, the periscopes and... And the radar and stuff like that. I've, I've built all that up. And I'm actually going to go ahead and get this uh, glued on to the top of the tower. And uh, again, this is something that should have been painted and detailed separately. And added at much, much later than I'm doing it now. Anyhow, despite the fact that it's going to be a mistake to add it right now, I am going to put it on, and you'll notice I'm using my uh, Gel Control CA glue here. And that's because uh, I'm going to want this to stick pretty quickly. I'm going to want to get it onto the top of the conning tower. I'm going to want to get it aligned, hold it in place, and have it grab um, while everything is is you know, lined up properly. You know, I don't want to have to sit here for 20 minutes waiting for the glue to dry. So uh, this is a perfect opportunity to use gel control. Okay, so you can see here uh, the, the conning tower is looking great, and you can see that the wooden deck is on now because I realized I should have put that on a long time ago. Uh, so I got the wooden deck on, I've built up the guns, and I'm assembling and uh, attaching them to the conning tower. And again, as long as I've got the gel control glue out, I might as well use that. And then I'll just pop the guns into place, align them so they're pointing down the long axis of the ship, and then we'll let that dry. Okay, so here is the completed conning tower. And the only thing that's really bugging me is the fact that, and I don't, I don't even realize yet that this is a problem. This should have been painted and detailed by now, and it isn't. And I, I have not yet come to realize what a monumental mistake this was. Now, anyhow, there's nothing for it but to set it aside and move on. Now, here we are back at the hull, and you can see I've started rolling over the top of the uh, side plates. And I'll tell you, that's one of the issues, because it would have been easier to glue the top on first and then pull the side plates down and around. But the alignment needs to be based off the bottom, and so it doesn't really work out. But I got it done, and I attached the uh, top deck plates from the photo etch kit. And here you can also see the wooden deck, and you see it's covering up all the nasty stuff that, uh, for, you know, from the first disaster. And so that is actually working out. Now, this is still not perfect, okay? That photo etch is still horrible to work with. 
you know, but it's doing what I hoped it would do, and it's covering up all the mess. Well, it's taken a long time to get this far, and so I, I don't think it's going to kill you to wait another week or two for me to finish up this project. But I think we can all say that we're feeling pretty gratified that we finally started to make some substantial progress on the Gato submarine. Um, but, you know, I really do think this is a, a good time for a break. Now, I, I'll, t I'll tell you, I, I was torn about what to do here, whether I make this a two-parter or a one-parter, and it's just a matter of time, all right? Right now, we're running at around 46 minutes. That's a long, long video for YouTube. I try to keep my videos into the 20, 30-minute range, and so when we start talking 46 minutes, that's almost almost double of what I normally do. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut part one off here, and then we'll pick it back up and wrap the gato up uh, in a week or two. So uh, that's just going to, you're going to have to wait. I'm, you're just going to have to pull your jets and wait. All right, I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And feel free to, to, to lay into me on this one, okay? That's why I'm sharing this debacle with you, okay? This is, is probably the worst model build I've done in, in a long, long time, and I'm sharing it for learning purposes. So uh, have at me, okay? Um, Please, just be respectful, okay? But short of that, lay into me, okay? It's fine. Uh, ask any questions that you want. Make any comments that you need to make. And uh, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. And we'll see you when we wrap up the Gato submarine in a couple weeks. Okay, for now, I'm going to get out of here. This is Paul from Vacuum.